Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to start it from the beginning. So first we will learn little bit Arabic vocabulary, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, now you will repeat after me. Batta. Batta. Batta means duck. Okay. Then baid. Egg. Baid. Egg. Also read the meaning. Egg. Bakara. Cow. Bakara. Cow. Good. Miss ba. Bulb. Miss. Light bulb. Cubs. Cubs. Bread. Bread. Hubble, rope, rope, kalp, dog, dog, kalp, maktab, maktab, inab, inab. Bab Bab Door Door Dub Dub Beer Bear Kitab Kitab Book Book Okay, now read this vocabulary again and tell me their meaning as well. But uh, duck, bite, egg, bakar, cow, miss bar, light bulb, cubs, bread, hub. Rope, Kalp, 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 Dog, Mark, Dub, Table, Izab, Grape, Enub, Enub, Grape, <coughs> Bob, Door. Dup bear. Kitab book. Good. So now we will learn the word haza. Haza means this. What is the meaning of haza? That. This. Haza means? This. This. Good. And this word haza is used only for masculine words. So whenever we want to point toward the masculine things, you will use the word haza. Okay? Okay. Haza khubs. Haza khubs. This is a bread. This is a bread. Haza kalb. Haza kalb. This is a dog. This is a dog. Hazi. This so the meaning of has he is also this, but has he is used for feminine words, has for masculine, and has he for feminine. Okay, okay, has he but has he but this is a duck, this is a duck, has he bakara, 
This is a cow. This is a cow. Now read this. Hazah, hazah, this, hazah, kubs, this is a bread. Hazah, gal, this is a dog. Hazihi, hazihi, batta, this is a duck. Hazihi, bat, bak. This is a cow. Good. Next, what's Silil Kalimata Bisura? He's asking us to join the word with the picture. Okay. Oh, ma yes, connect the word with the picture, match the word with the picture. So, here in the first picture, you see a cow. What is the word for oh. cow? Um. Uh, this one. Which one? Uh, Bakarat. Bakara, good. Then, then what is the word for the second picture? Uh, um, The word for second picture is this one. But good. <clears throat> then what is the word for the third picture? Oops. Pronounce it. Light bulb. So in Arabic. Kubs. No, kubs mean bread. Oh. Miss ba. Good. Next, uh, bread, bread. Hopes. Hopes. Next, book, kitab, kitab. Correct. So, in this, you will do this. Then he's asking to complete the missing letter, missing half. So, what is the missing half according to the, this picture? Um, ba, the word is dub, so the missing letter is ba. Okay, what is the meaning of dub? Uh, bear. Yeah, good. Next, we have grapes. What is the missing letter here? Um, ba. um ba. So the word become enab. Okay. Okay. Then what is the missing letter here? Is it a ba for all of them? Yes, it is ba for all of them. So you need to pronounce the word, okay? Next word. Maktab. Maktab, good. Next. Hab. Habal, good. Next, Bob. Okay. Then he's asking you to saha ho khata. Correct or wrong. If the sentence is correct, you will say sahi. If it is wrong, you will say khata. Okay. So read this sentence and translate it. Haza kubs. Translation. Uh, this is a bread. So it is sahi or khata? Uh, uh, the, the correct one. I forgot how to pronounce it. The sahi. So it is sahi, okay? Sahi. Then. Hazihi batarat sahi. Good. Then next one. What is the wrong one? How to pronounce it? First, uh, translate this sentence. What is the meaning of Haza Kalp? Haza Kalp. 
Uh, this is uh, a dog. Kal mean dog. dog. So this is a dog. So it is called Khata. Okay. Khata. Pronounce after me. Khata. Good. Next. So is this Sahi or Khata? Uh, it's a uh, hatar. It is sahi. Hazihi batta means this is a duck. And in the picture we also see duck. So you will say sahi. What will you say? Sahi. Good. Next. Haza kitab. Hatta. Hatta. What's the meaning of haza kitab? A book. This, this is, is a, a book. book. Good. Now I will say a word and you will tell me which picture is this, okay? Okay. Hoops. 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 Bear. Hoops mean bread. Okay. Then I will say Bakara. Bakara. Cow. Cow. Oh, good. Bab. Bab. Door. Door. Is the me why she did it? Kalima, listen and point to the word. I will say a word in English and you will tell me it's an Arabic name, okay? Okay. Egg. Egg. Mm. Kitab. No. No, 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 no. I meant, I mean, bite. Bite. Good. Okay. Then we say door. Bab. Good. Rope. Rope. Hubble. Okay. Hubble. Then Kowin Kalima make the word. You just need to join them and they will become a word and then you will tell me their meaning. So what is the first word? Maktab. Good. What does maktab mean? Um, table. Table. <laughs> Next. Dog. 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 Oh. Next. Bab. Bab. Door. Good. Next. An. In. An. In a. Uh, egg. In a mean grapes. Grapes. Okay. Then. Batta. Batta mean duck. Then he's asking you, Ikhtaril Kalimata Sayya, choose the correct word. There are three words, one of them is correct. Which of them is correct? But the, the second one. Good. Meaning? But. Duck. But. but duck. Duck. Um, um, the second one, third one, third one is correct. What is the meaning of ba? Is it a light bulb? Yes, light bulb. Good. Next, second one. Second one meaning rope. Hubble mean rope. Rope. Enab. 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 The second one. Grapes. So today you have learned some vocabulary. You need to memorize 
this vocabulary, this one. Okay, you will memorize it and then you will write it on the notebook, on your notebook without taking help from any dictionary or anything. First memorize their meaning, and then write it on your notebook. Okay. Any question? So we just need just a notebook, right? Yes, at the moment, just you need only one thing and that is notebook. First, you will memorize the vocabulary and then you will write it on your notebook. Okay. And if you face any difficulty, you can ask me on my WhatsApp. Okay. Now we'll start. Holy Quran, inshallah. First read Aus Billah, Bismillah. Or first read Aus Billah, then start this one. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Read also Aus Billah with loud voice. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Read after me. Aus Billah. Aus Billah, Himana Shaitanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Next. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman, Ibrahim. Maliki, Yawmiddin. Iyaka, Nabudu, wa Iyaka, Nasta'in. Ihdina, Sirata, Mustaqin. Sirata, Lazina, An Amta, Alayhim, Qarim, Mak. Okay, now we read the meaning of this. First, read the meaning of Bismillah. In the name of Allah, most gracious, the most merciful. Okay, so whenever we do anything, before doing anything, we say this sentence. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay. So note it on your notebook. Okay. Wait. Okay. This is uh, the first thing that you have learnt in this class. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. So the first thing that you have learned here in this class is this that before doing anything say bismillah. Before doing which things will you say Bismillah? Can you give me some examples? Um, like eating food. Before eating food, you will say Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Before making wudu, you will say Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Before going out or before wearing clothes, whatever you do, before doing that, what will you say? Bismillah. Yes, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Okay. 
จะใส่ไหมเนี่ยเดี๋ยวจะใส่ครับอืมก็ได้ได้ขอกินนมโอเค so next time I will ask you about this that the before doing h o m e you have said Bismillah okay this is okay. the number one that you have learned here okay then daily we make many dua to Allah to Allah Almighty do you make any dua um yes okay can you tell me one of your dua So do I before sleeping? What do yes, you make many dua like before sleeping or before doing anything, or sometimes we ask something from Allah like, I want a toy, I want a football, I want a game, I want a computer, I want a laptop, I want a tablet, I want a car, something like this. So we make many dua, ask things from God, Allah. Okay. Okay. So before making dua, we praise Allah. What we do before making dua? Pray. We praise Allah. Praise. So. t h a n k thanks. Yes. So there are many ways to praise Allah. The best one that is praying. This Pray. one. Yeah, before on making up dua, before making prayer, the best thing is this one. Okay. Okay. Now we will learn the meaning of this. All the praise and thanks be to Allah, the Lord of the Alami, mankind, jinn, and all that exist. The most gracious, the most merciful, the only owner, and the Only ruling judge of the day of recompense, i.e., the day of resurrection. You alone we worship, and you alone we ask for help for each and everything. Okay, so let's suppose that you want a bicycle. Okay. Okay. Um, First, you will say this thing: Alhamdulillah, i r a b b i l a l a m i n a r r a h m a n i r a h i m m a l i k i l a m i n i y a k a n a l d o a a And then read the meaning. Yes, a meaning is not necessary before making dua. So do you just say mm-hmm. this in Arabic, and after that you will ask Allah to give me a bicycle or whatever you want. Okay. Uh-huh. So this is the second. Yes, This is the second okay. that you have learned here. Also note it. What to say before making dua? What to say before making making uh, dua? dua. Do you know what is dua? Ah, uh, yeah, like the ah uh, the thing that we say ah uh, after ah uh, before we sleep and stuff. Oh. And the dua that when we are uh, ah uh, we are in car and driving. Dua like means whenever we ask something from Allah, that is called dua. What is the meaning of dua? Or uh, whenever we ask something from Allah. When we ask anything from Allah, okay. Okay. So that is called dua. Oh, so now it's the holy book, right? Because twenty minutes passed. Sorry. So now it's the holy book part because um, uh, the twenty minutes just passed, right? Yes. Now we are on the holy book, holy Quran. Okay. And number three. So Learn two things here. First thing, we before doing anything, we say Bismillah, and before making dua, we say this Alhamdulillah, Rabbillah, a l a m i n m a l i k i y a m i n i Okay. Okay. Yeah, can I do it? Yeah, can I do it? Just that. There are many examples of dua. 
that we make one of those is this one ehdina sirat al mustaqim sirat al mustaqim sirat al mustaqim to be on what the darling of me read the meaning of this dua guide us to the straight way the way of those on whom you have bestowed your grace not the way of those who earn your anger such as the Jews. Jews, no, of those who went astray, such as the Christians. Okay. So you have learned two things. Tomorrow I will ask about ask you about these two things. Okay. Okay. Then let's go to the next part. Um. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The book of Revelation. Do you know what is Revelation? Revelation, no. Okay, Revelation means the message of Allah, Allah. the message of Allah to Prophet okay. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay? Sure. So what is the meaning of Revelation? The message from Allah to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Good. So the first chapter is how the divine revelation started to be revealed to Allah Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Basically it means how the first message from Allah to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam started. Okay? Ooh. <clears throat> Now read this statement of Allah. Verily, we have sent the revelation to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi as we send the revelation to Noah and the prophets after him. Hmm. So here Allah is saying that Allah has sent message to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa just like he has sent the message to others prophets before him. Prophet Adam. Okay. Prophet Adam. <clears throat> yes. Then we have the first hadith. Yes. It is about no intention. Read this hadith. The reward of deeds depends upon the intention, and every person will get the reward according to what he has intended. So whoever who makes grace, the for worldly benefits of for a woman to marry, his immigration will be for what he immigrated for. Allah. <clears throat> so basically, oh. do, do you know what is intention? Intention. I heard it, but I, I don't know the meaning. Intention means what is in our mind. Okay. Mind. Okay. What is in our mind? mind? So this hadith tells you that if you do something for the sake of reward from Allah, you will get a reward from Allah. But if you do something to show people, then you will not get any reward from Allah. Okay? okay. For example, do you say five salah five prayers daily uh five uh like fajr zuhur asr maghrib isha so you meant that like, do i pray five prayers yes fajr uh, so, uh, i would say like sometimes hmm. okay if you if you say those prayer with the intention of making Allah happy, getting reward from Allah, then you will get reward. But if you say those prayers, because if your mother said to you to pray them, she forces you, then you will not get any reward. You need to be fond of making prayer. Okay? okay. Just like if you read Quran with the intention of getting reward from Allah, then you will get reward. 
But if you just read it in the Quran to show other people that you are reading Quran, then you will not get any reward from Allah. Okay. So like, if other people tell us to read, we will not get. Oh, that okay. is a, basically you need you don't need to show up. I mean to say that you need to. We need to pray by ourselves. Hmm, yes, we need to pray without showing off. Okay. Shun off. Yes. Uh, then great job. Then read this hadith. Hadith. Start. When to start? Here. Start from here. Narrated Isha. Aisha. The Aisha, the mother of faithful belief, Al Haris bin His. Hisham as Allah Messenger or Allah Messenger, how is divine revelation revealed to you? Allah Messenger replied, Sometimes it is revealed. Like the ringing of a bell, this form of revelation is the hardest of all. And then this stage passes off after I have grasped what is revealed. Sometimes the angel comes in the form of a man and talks to me and I grab what it was he say Aisha added verily I saw the prophet being inspired divinely and noticed the sweet dropping from his forehead and on a very cold day as the revelation was over. So here <clears throat> tell you here the two ways in which the message came to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So can you yeah. tell me what are those two ways? Um, sometimes it is revealed like a ringing of a bell. And what is the other way? Sometimes the angel comes in form like a man and talks to me and grabs whatever he says. Yes, these are the two ways in which Allah has sent message. To Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay? Besides, okay. Besides this, there are some other ways which we will study later, inshallah. Then Later on. Yes. And then receiving revelation from Allah is not an easy thing. It was a very hard thing. So that's why the Aisha said, even on a very cold day, whenever he used to receive revelation, his forehead used to discharge sweet. Okay. Now the Quran part is done because it's 20 minutes already. Okay. So this is a hadith basically. We have already completed the Quran part. Now we are reading hadith. Today I am keeping the things short because this is your first class. So I am okay. keeping it short. Now if you have any question, you can ask me. Mm -hmm. Do you have any question? No. Okay, next time, inshallah, we'll continue. Assalamu alaikum. What's up? Wait, the class is done? Yes, today I am keeping it short. It is uh, the class. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So could I be? Yes, you can go now. Enjoy. Yeah. You too.